just take a look around at how incredible this scenery is. The mountains, the trees, and just look at the stunning colour of this water. It's all been here for a very, very long time, and many people have used the Earth's resources and lived here too. Before the settlers arrived in Canada from France and England, some people already lived here, and they are called the First Nations people. In Canada, there are 634 different First Nation clans, and they all have different traditions and beliefs. Because they all have different traditions and beliefs, they all have different ways they think that the Earth was created. One of them is that they think that the Earth was created on the back of a turtle, and lots of different creatures and animals help run the planet. Another myth is that Sky Woman gave birth to the first woman, which is how the human race was started. Another creation belief is that there were two transformer people that appeared in human form to create the planet in which we live. One was good and one was evil. The good one made all the wonderful things that we have, mountains, lakes, rivers, animals, the sun and moon, and humans. The evil one is believed to have created things that would be horrible or a nuisance to others. I've been learning a lot about the First Nations beliefs, culture and history. A very interesting tradition that has happened across many First Nation groups is a guardian spirit quest. This would happen when a young man would get to an important time in his life. He would go off to a remote area, he would pray, fast and wash himself in the rivers and the lakes to cleanse. The goal of the quest was to have a vision of a guardian spirit. It could be in the form of an animal or a mythological creature. What they believed was if they could see this vision, that for the rest of their lives they would be healthy and successful. Another tradition done by some groups called Inuit in northern Canada was to make a human form by stacking rocks. They called this an Anukshuk. You will be able to see these in many places around Canada. The Anukshuk has now become a symbol of hope and friendship and showing that this is the place that will welcome everyone with open arms. Anukshuks have also been used for navigation, a post that shows you which way to go. One of the arms is slightly longer and thinner than the other. The longer, thinner one is pointing you to which way you should go. Here is an Anukshuk that me and my friends made. I want you to pause the video here and see if you can gather any stones or any solid materials to see if you can make your own one. We made quite a big one, but you can make yours of any size. Have fun! How'd you go? Did you make a big one or a teeny tiny one? Doesn't matter, but make sure that your stones are in the same place that my one is. Another tradition that is used by the First Nations people are called totem poles. You may have seen one before, maybe in a photo or even in real life. A totem pole is also known as a monumental pole. They are made and have been made as a sign, a family record or as a memorial. This has been a tradition for a long time. Main totem poles that you would see in Canada these days were built and carved around the 1860s. This is because the wooden poles near the coastal climate started to rot. In the 1950s, lots of new totem poles were made for museums and parks. There are six main types of totem poles. Memorial, grave, house, front of house posts, welcoming poles and mortuary poles. They are made out of red cedar trees and can be painted black, red, blue, white and yellow. The people making them want to keep the colours as natural as possible. They come in all different sizes, smaller ones being outside the houses. Some poles can be up to 20 metres tall. They are normally facing the direction of the river or the ocean. The figures in the poles represent different characteristics of a clan, or they can tell a story. I want you to have a think about what three animals represent you, 
or what animals could tell a story. You have to have a good reason why you've chosen them. If I was to choose, I would pick a cat because that is my favourite animal. I have a pet cat called Jasper and I love him so very much. Secondly, I would pick a fantail, which is a New Zealand bird. It shows where I come from, but also that I love to fly in planes and travel. Thirdly, I would pick a dolphin. I absolutely love to swim and I will take any chance that I can, even if the water is really cold. Now, if you're wanting to see any more of my Canadian adventures, there are lots of other videos that are up or are coming as well. And head over to Instagram where you can see some more of the wonderful landscape from the photos that we've taken. Have a great time and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching! Why not continue learning by clicking on one of these lesson videos? And make sure to click that subscribe button. Happy travels!